Hello everyone, welcome to Lukman IS. This is AI PMT 2 discussion for geography and environment section. My name is Lakshmi Kant and I will be taking discussion for geography and environment section. Okay, so first of all, let me tell you the experience of what we observe in AI PMT 1. So many of the students were not able to attempt geography mapping questions. Okay, yes, of course, UPC has brought new trend uh, in asking more questions in geography mapping section. And that's why uh, it is very important to prepare this section and uh, let's say <clears throat> around 8 to 9 questions, they are related to mapping section out of 14 to 15. So that's why it is very important and yes, mapping section is not limited to any per one particular part of your geography that is Indian geography or world geography. They are asking balanced questions as well as static and current affairs. So in our AI PMT also, we are trying to incorporate such kind of trend. From environment section also, uh, what we are observing that UPC is becoming more and more unpredictable. Unpredictable in a sense that they are asking a general knowledge type of questions, especially based on species, right? So four or five questions in terms of species behavior, their unique characteristics. And that's why we are also trying to add such kind of questions in our AI PMT. So those who have attempted AI PMT 1, they may have gone through that experience. And yes, of course, those who have given AI PMT 2 also. Now you will see that we are trying to cover more and more a variety of questions. And when you give all these AI PMTs till your prelims examination and lastly some mock test. So you will see that we are we have covered all the aspects of mapping section in geography as well as the conceptual aspects and in environment section a variety of species pollutants and based on international initiatives all these questions will be covered the prominent let's say topics which are in news and that ex that are expected in your prelims examination right so let's start with the discussion for this year's uh, this AIPMT 2 paper so first of all we'll cover the geography section so yes as you have given this test so you may have let's say understood that we have tried to ask statement 1, statement 2 type of question especially focused on conceptual understanding. Okay. So we can call it as a static part and we need some conceptual understanding. Conceptual based, concept based questions largely UPC asks from climatology and oceanography. So we need to have clear understanding of concepts from these two chapters of geography. Along with that Indian climate also very important. So they are also monsoon and relevant uh, let's say phenomenon or overall climate of India, what kind of weather conditions are there during summer and winter. So we can expect such questions related to Indian, Indian climate. Now look at this question, statement one, statement two. So basically this year UPC has changed the framing of let's say types of question and earlier assertion and reason type of question now only the name is changed statement 1 and statement 2. So in these type of question we have to identify whether the two statements are having any relation, relation kind of cause and effect and then only we can get the correct answer here. The <coughs> easy aspect of these questions is that if either of these statement is incorrect then we get the answer easily. But jo dono sahi hota hai, to tab ja ke confusion hota hai ki whether there is a relation between these two or they are independently correct. Right, so look at this question related to tropical cyclone. Tropical cyclone is more likely to be developed at the equator in comparison to the tropical regions. And second statement says that Coriolis force is negligible at the equator. Now we know the basics of tropical cyclone. Tropical cyclones are not formed at the equator because at the equator there is negligible or zero Coriolis force. Okay, so <coughs> we can say that Coriolis force is absent zero at equator and it goes on increasing towards pole right so Coriolis force is basically a kind of pseudo effect created on the fluids on the earth surface when the fluids on large scale they are flowing on the earth surface be it liquid or gases like winds or we can say rivers large rivers or even we can say ocean currents so they are getting affected because of rotation of earth around its tilted axis right so this is we that the pseudo force Coriolis force. Now this is very important for a pre, it is a precondition for formation and intensification of tropical cyclone, right. So if it is absent at equator, so of course it is not going to be formed at equator, 
what this statement is saying tropical cyclone is more likely to be developed at equator so here itself we get idea that this is incorrect statement i told you either of the statement is incorrect and we get the answer so statement one is incorrect and statement two is correct of course coriolis force is negligible at equator so this is independently correct statement d is the correct answer so i told you just now that concept based questions climatology and oceanography were so we have tried to ask this question here so we hope that it was easy question for most of the students now let's talk about this yes indian mapping part static part we can say and yes we are trying to cover different kinds of landforms unique kind of landforms already upc has asked like gandhi kota canyon so unique kind of landform is there so we are trying to cover now caves so especially caves which are unique feature of karst topography limestone jo hum bol sakte hai ki area hota hai wahan par zyada tar ye milta hai right so caves and states so bora caves very famous caves in andhra pradesh theek hai to ye incorrectly matched hai andhra pradesh mein milta hai ye near araku valley uh, Ara, araki uh, sorry pardon me araku valley in andhra pradesh it is the tourist destination bora caves are very famous okay so this is incorrectly matched liak pra caves liak pra caves one of the longest caves in south asia and these are found in meghalaya so these are incorrect meghalaya is having such kind of caves karst topography prominently seen in meghalaya and andhra pradesh in india so you should remember it is pending question in prelims examination okay khangkui cave yes this is correctly matched it is located in manipur so only one pair is correctly matched we have to identify the correctly matched and that's why answer here is now yes mapping section is largely or purely factual and we cannot have the elimination method because of these kinds of options so if you do not know about these caves and their location theek hai to aap isko attempt mat kariye theek hai you should skip such kind of questions because these these are very specific names maybe you know about bora caves but what about liak pra and we can say khangkui caves so yes uh, you may get confused here and that's why you should skip such kind of factual questions right next again statement 1 statement 2 type of question cherapunji in meghalaya plateau displays a bare rocky surface devoid of any permanent vegetation cover yes we know about that cherapunji mausindram so it receives maximum amount of rainfall from which monsoon southwest monsoon look at the second statement this area receives maximum rainfall from northeast monsoon no this is incorrect right it receives maximum rainfall more than 1000 cm from southwest monsoon and not northeast or retreating monsoon so second statement is incorrect here we get the answer second statement is incorrect c is the correct answer right so bare rocky surface excess rainfall it does not allow the soil to be formed and that's why when there is no soil of course there will be bare rocky surface and it is not suitable for growth of vegetation there theek hai so that's why we can say that this is correct and c is the correct answer here right let's move on to next question right <clears throat> what this sta two statements are given and we have to identify the correct statement here right oceanography labrador current is the cold current in the north atlantic ocean that flows from atlantic ocean oh, sorry arctic ocean now we know that labrador current is the cold current in north atlantic ocean and it originates in arctic ocean and it flows along the eastern coast of north america or we can say that specifically canada right and it meets gulf stream a warm current that is originating in the equatorial region and then flowing across the gulf of florida and then it meets this labrador current in new formed land which where the the grand banks are located right so look at the second statement mixing of humboldt current it is saying it is completely incorrect humboldt current is cold current itself but where it is along the western coast of south america western coast of south america so this is incorrect here there should be actually gulf stream which is warm current तो वहां पर ये फिशिंग ग्राउंड तैयार करते हैं ग्रैंड बैंक सो सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट एंड फर्स्ट इज करेक्ट एंड हियर वन ओनली सो यस दोव डन विथ द ओशन करंट पार्ट मैपिंग वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट ऑलरेडी इन मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन यूपीसी ऑन ओशन करंट थ्राइस सेम क्वेश्चन ठीक है फिशिंग ग्राउंड एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स 
So we know that mixing of cold current and warm current leads to let's say replenishment of nutrients and the abundant growth of phytoplanktons and then dependent fish growth. So we can say that these are the areas where a uh, large amount of fish catch can be there and fishing grounds are there. Okay, so A is the correct answer here. Fine, let's talk about next question. Yes, so UPC is asking such kind of question based on let's say rivers and rivers flows into lakes. Pailai question tha is saal ka, right? So lakes or rivers ko unhone link karne koshish ki hai. We have tried to cover the let's say a link between rivers and the protected areas, right? So look at this, Kane river passes through Panna Tiger Reserve. We have to identify the correct statement. So we know that Kane river passes through Panna Tiger Reserve in MP. This is correct. Kane is the tributary of, we can say, Yamuna river. <coughs> now, Rajaji Tiger Reserve is bisected by Ram Ganga river. Now, this is incorrect. We know that Ram Ganga river flows through Jim Corbett National Park or we can say Tiger Reserve. Jim Corbett. So, this is incorrect statement. Rather, Rajaji Tiger Reserve. Yaha se kaun si river jati hai? Ganga River. <coughs> hai. So, Ganga River flows through Rajaji Tiger Reserve. So, this is incorrect statement. Mahanadi flows through Satkosia Tiger Reserve. This is true in Odisha. In Odisha, Satkosia Tiger Reserve is located. Of course, Rajaji Tiger Reserve is in Uttarakhand. We know that. So, this is correctly matched. Sharda river runs through Valmiki Tiger Reserve. Valmiki Tiger Reserve is located in Bihar. So, of course, there is no scope for Sharda river which flows through Uttar Pradesh and meets Ghagra river which is in turn tributary of Ganga river. Okay. So, we can say it is in Sharda river jo hai, hum usi ko Kali river bolte hai, which flows uh, let's say along the border between Nepal and Uttarakhand in India, right? Kali River, Mahakali River, when it enters into UP, it is called as Sharda River. So, two statements are correct, two incorrect. So, answer here should be B. Now, some of the students may get confused here, especially for second statement. Baki statement may shayad unko logic laga ke elimination method se bhi ho jayega Valmiki and all. So, second statement may shayad confusion ho sakta hai, but you should attempt this question for sure. Okay, B is the correct answer. Now, moving on. Yes, again, concept-based question from climatology. Framing is same. We have to identify the correct statement. In temperature inversion, temperature decreases with increase in elevation. Now, is it true? Rather, in temperature inversion, we say that with increase in height, there is increase in temperature. So, what are you saying here? temperature decreases rather this is normal lapse rate when temperature decreases with increase in elevation it is normal lapse rate in temperature inversion there is reverse lap okay, reverse lapse rate so this is incorrect statement temperature inversion at surface level promotes instability in lower layers of in lower layers of atmosphere so we know that it promotes stability Stability means we can say that the wind is subsiding down and staying near the ground. In instability, the wind will move up and there will be condensation and precipitation. Okay, so this aridity promotes, this is also incorrect statement. Neither one nor two is the correct statement here. D is the correct answer. So both statement demands some conceptual understanding here. Although this is basic understanding of temperature inversion, which was also asked in 2013 mains examination. Theek hai. Next question, oceanography. <coughs> North Sea records high salinity despite being located in higher latitude. We know that North Sea has comparatively higher salinity comparatively compared to we can say Baltic Sea. Ek hi latitude pe hai, Baltic Sea, North Sea. But it is having more salinity as compared to other seas. Second statement, ocean currents are major determinants of salinity of ocean and sea. Now this is also true and we know that why North Sea experiences higher salinity? Because North Atlantic Drift, North Atlantic Drift which is warm current, it is extension of Gulf Stream 
it reaches to north sea and brings more saline water from tropical regions to the polar region in polar region there is melting of we can say ice which adds fresh water and that's why there is low salinity on the surface water but here this <coughs> north atlantic drift which is from tropical region it is having more saline water it is bringing that more saline water to north sea and that's why its experiences we can say higher salinity both statements are correct and statement 2 is correct explanation of statement 1 and that's why we can say that a is the correct answer yes right so we can say a is the correct answer let's move on to next question again very simple question upc ask every year minimum one question related to crops <coughs> related to crops A basic question hota hai generally aise kharif crop rabi crop se related hoga or the question can be related to exports production level in india isi tarike se question hota hai now very simple kharif season crops we know that cotton is a kharif crop gram is a rabi crop we know that wheat gram right so uh, kharif season cotton rice bajra jowar ye kharif season crop hai and zayed season which is we can say summer season so watermelon cucumber ye summer season mein grow kiye jata hai this is correct but first two are incorrectly matched we have to identify the correctly matched pairs here and that's why answer here is only one in past upsc has asked questions like which among the following are kharif crops or rabi crops is tarike se question aate hai it is basic ncert based question so you should be ready with such ye galat hona hi nahi chahiye questions theek hai very simple one so a is the correct answer right moving on what about this one koppen's classification of climatic regions or indian climatic region yahan par ye as type of club. so we know that a is tropical climate a letter is for tropical climate and s is basically summer dry small s is summer dry so in summer there is no rainfall in india which region is having summer dry kaun sa aisa region hota hai jahan pe summer mein barish nahi hota hai yani ki south west monsoon ke time pe barish nahi hota hai look at the regions okay western rajasthan we know that it beyond it is beyond tropical region so wo nahi aayega aur b type of climate aayega because they are they are dry regions so we can say as nahi hoga north western let's say gujarat wahan par bhi b type of climate hai jab hum padhte hai so yes b w h w so that is again incorrect now arunachal pradesh so yahan par to aur zyada thanda hai theek hai to yahan par d f c type of climate tha dfc koromandal coast of tamil nadu this is correct here we know that due to rain shadow effect of western ghats this region does not receive rainfall due to southwest monsoon and the bay of bengal branch is parallel to this coast and that's why it does not receive any kind of rainfall from we can say southwest monsoon rather it receives more, let's say rain most of the rainfall from northeast monsoon or retreating monsoon so it is having rainfall during winter समर ड्राई है विंटर के टाइम पे रेनफॉल होता है सो डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर इन पास यूपीसी हैज आस्क क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू कपेन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ क्लाइमेट्स सो वी शुड बी रेडी विथ इंडिया क्लाइमेटिक रीजन वॉट अबाउट दिस बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ड्रॉप्स वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट राइट सो मेट्रोलॉजिकल ड्रॉट मेट्रोलॉजिकल शुड बी समथिंग रिलेटेड टू रेनफॉल इट शुड बी समथिंग रिलेटेड टू रेनफॉल so what is that it is the situation when the prolonged period of inadequate rainfall mark with mal distribution of same over the time so it is related to inadequate rainfall so yahan par kya diya hua hai situation when productivity of natural ecosystem fails due to short ecosystem ki baat kar raha hai ecological hoga dono incorrect statement hai dono incorrect statement hai right why because interchange kiya hua hai Now what about agriculture drought? It should be related to something crops. Logical है सही आ जाएगा सब students का ये answer, right? Is also known as soil moisture drought, characterized by low soil moisture that is necessary to support crops, thereby resulting in crop failure. This is correct. Hydrological drought should be related to water in <coughs> water reservoirs. So be it rivers or lakes or we can say that aquifers. So उससे related है hydrological drought. so this is correct statement storage and reservoirs like aquifers usme jab pani kam hota hai to it is hydrological drought 
two statements are correct, two incorrect. So that's why B is the correct answer. B is the correct answer. Very simple. ये आपका सही होना चाहिए सबका. ठीक है? Right. Again, very simple question. It is related to shifting cultivation. The regional names for shifting cultivation in different parts of the world and the regions they are practiced in Milpa. We know that it is in Mexico, Central America. <coughs> Mexico, Central America. So it is incorrectly matched. Ladang in Indonesia. Again, it is incorrectly matched. Zoom cultivation or zooming, slash and burn type of, yes, in northeastern India, this is correctly matched. Tongya, so this Tongya is not in Sri Lanka. Okay, this is in Thailand. And in Malaysia. This is in Thailand. And in Malaysia, in that region, rather, or we can say that Myanmar, not Thailand, Malaysia, Myanmar. Okay, so this is incorrectly matched. Only here. To identify correctly matched. So A is the correct answer. Right. Very simple we can say. It is NCRT based again. Now this is also important. Why? Because UPC is asking one question on resources. Minimum one question on mapping part. Like last year they asked about the cobalt resources. 70% of the cobalt resources are located in which of the following countries. So Democratic Republic of Congo. So if this is a question, then yes, of course, in past UPC has asked question on mines in India. So <coughs> iron ore mines and states they are located. Okay, we know about Naumandi, very famous. It is located in Jharkhand. So we know that this is correct. Dalli Rajra is also very famous, and this is located in Chhattisgarh. So this is wo incorrect. Hai. Chhattisgarh. So this is incorrectly matched. What about Badam Pahar? Yes, it is located in Odisha. This is correctly matched. Guru Mahasani, it is also located in Odisha. That's why it is incorrect. Guru Mahasani and Badampar, ye jo hai Kendojar or <coughs> Sambalpur districts jo Odisha ke, wahan par iron ore deposits hai. Northern part of Odisha, which is attached to Chhattisgarh as well as we can say that Jharkhand region. So, wo jo tri-junction hai, wahan par sare ye resources hai, hum bol sakte hai. So, how many pairs are correctly matched here? Okay, so two pairs are correctly matched, two are incorrectly matched. So again, B is the correct answer here. Theek hai? Right, what about this one? <coughs> Some international locations which are in news, be it because of conflicts that are going on or military coup is happening, terrorist affected regions, refugee crisis regions. So, us tarike se question aa hai. Now, Lachin Corridor. Yes. In corridor is the region <coughs> we can say that is in news because of Azerbaijan Armenia conflict. B is the correct answer. Okay, let me also show you. Where it is located Azerbaijan Armenia conflict where they are located in Caucasus mountains, right? The Caucasus mountains which are located <coughs> between Black Sea and Caspian Sea, we know about that. Hai na? Kaha par located hai ye? Ye dekho, Lachin Corridor. Okay, Armenia, Azerbaijan conflict is very long fought conflict we can say. This region is we can say uh, called as Nagarno Karabakh. This year's prelims question match the following Nagarno Karabakh. Theek hai? So, Azerbaijan, Armenia prelims mein question aa chuka hai. So, we need to know that. ऐसे क्वेश्चन जरूर यूपीसी हर साल पूछ रहा है लचीन कॉरिडोर बोला गया है यहां पर ठीक है सो इट्स ऑलवेज इन न्यूज़ बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट फाइन नाउ कमिंग बैक टू द डिस्कशन यस लेट्स कंटिन्यू सो व्हाट शुड बी आंसर हियर बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर व्हाट अबाउट दिस वन रिवर्स यस द रिवर्स फ्लो फ्रॉम ईस्ट टू वेस्ट हाउ मेनी ऑफ द रिवर्स गिवन अबव फ्लोस फ्रॉम ईस्ट टू वेस्ट we know that Subarna Rekha, Brahmani, Pennar are flowing from west to east. They are draining into Bay of Bengal. What about Sharavati River? Sharavati River originating in Western Ghats, Karnataka. Okay, Western Ghats, Karnataka. And it is draining from east to west. East to west. Sharavati River, Jok Falls or Gersoppa Falls. One of the highest falls in India. So, very famous, already UPC has asked question on Joke Falls in past. So, we 
सॉरी पार्डन मी दिस इज द करेक्ट उल्टा है सो ईस्ट टू वेस्ट देर इज अमंग दीज थ्री वर्स सो ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर इन पास्ट यूपीएससी हैज आस्क क्वेश्चन ऑन डिरेक्शन ऑफ द रिवर्स दे आर ड्रेइंग और फ्लोइंग नाउ अगेन इकोनॉमिक जोग्राफी हाउ मेनी ऑफ द रीजन्स आर द मेजर इंडस्ट्रियल रीजन्स इन इंडिया इफ यू टॉक अबाउट मेजर इंडस्ट्री जर इंडस्ट्रियल रीजन अगर लिस्ट करते हैं इनको तो कौन से कौन से हैं? वी नो दैट दिल्ली मीरत दिल्ली एंड एनसीआर रीजन वी कैन से देर आफ्टर वी नो दैट इन अहमदाबाद वडोदरा रीजन अहमदाबाद वडोदरा रीजन देन छोटा नागपुर प्लेटू छोटा नागपुर प्लेटू रीजन देन वी हैव कोलकाता हुगली रीजन हुगली बेल्ट देन वी हैव विशाखापट्टनम गुंटूर गुंटूर रीजन देन सिक्स वन इज मुंबई पुणे मुंबई पुणे देन सेवेंथ वन इज बेंगलुरु चेन्नई बेंगलुरु चेन्नई एंड एट्थ वन इज कोम थिवनपुरम कोम थिवनपुरम केरला so these are the eight major industrial regions तो यहाँ पे देखिए मुंबई पुणे है विशाखापट्टनम गुंटूर यस छोटा नागपुर प्लेटूर यस अंबाला अमृतसर दिस इज माइनर नॉट मेजर माइनर इंडस्ट्रियल रीजन ठीक है सो हाउ मेनी ऑफ देम आर मेजर थ्री सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर फाइन सो एनसीआर टी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन अगेन नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू ओके फाइन दीज वर द जोग्राफी सेक्शन क्वेश्चन नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द एनवायरमेंट सेक्शन ठीक है सो so, काफी इजी था कंपेरेटिवली हम बोल सकते हैं क्या कुछ क्वेश्चंस जो है मैपिंग के आपको शायद टफ गए होंगे बट कॉन्सेप्ट बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस तो इजी थे आई होप सो एंड इंडियन ज्योग्राफी वाले क्वेश्चंस भी इजी थे सो आई होप दैट ये सेक्शन आपका स्कोरिंग रहा होगा इस ए में ठीक है नाउ वॉट अबाउट द एनवायरमेंट सेक्शन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट ओके सो द फर्स्ट वन just a moment what about this one sea butterfly okay so this species was in news recently and the sea butterfly species are facing some problem because of ocean acidification sea butterfly are basically a kind of snails sea snails they are not we can say fish species rather they are pelagic sea snails तो ये पेलाजिक फिश स्पेसीज बोला गया दिस इज इन करेक्ट ओके नाउ इट इज अ कार्नी वोर दैट प्रेज ऑन अदर स्मॉल फिश स्पेसीज नाउ दिस इज इन करेक्ट ठीक है तो ये कार्नी वोर नहीं है राधर इट इज हर वी ओवर ठीक है ये प्लैंगटॉन्स और इसके ऊपर जीता है तो वी कैन से दिस इज एन इन करेक्ट द एसिडिक ओशन वॉटर आर हार्मुल फॉर इट सर्वाइवल दिस इज ट्रू रिसेंट स्टडीज हैव talked about that ocean acidification is having impact on this particular sea butterfly species so this is correct statement and that's why answer here should be only one now many of these questions come from current affairs current developments theek hai hamara current affairs ka section alag hai questions ka usme bhi ek do question aapko environment ke milenge but yes some of the questions which are part of core environment but they have some kind of context with the current developments so from that aspect we have to understand this yes in uh, explanation detail explanation is provided we are attaching that explanation part in this uh, let's say video in the description you can download that and you can read that later on now yes pollutants minimum one to two questions are specifically on pollutants in environment section and we are trying to cover the variety of pollutants jo ab tak pucha hua hai pyq se aap zarur usko kar lijiye but those questions those topics which are not covered yet by upsc like short lived halogens okay short lived halogens halogens we know that which group is there chlorine bromine iodine theek hai to wo kya hota hai aapka halogen group hota hai right short lived halogens with oceanic sources yes oceans also emit short lived uh, short lived halogens like chlorine bromine and all have a lifespan of less than 3 months in the atmosphere now it is very specific factually it is incorrect less than 6 months 
it is less than 6 months. So, we can say that this is incorrect. This is incorrect. They increase the global warming by depleting the ozone. Now, this is incorrect. Okay, you should know that they tend to decrease the global warming. Okay, they tend to decrease the global warming by depleting the ozone. So, yes, we can say that this is incorrect. Now, uniqueness of these short-lived halogens, we know that halogens like chlorine, bromine, they are responsible, halogenated compounds, they are responsible for ozone. Uh, we, uh, we can say that <coughs> ozone hole or ozone layer depletion. But uniqueness of these halogens, short-lived halogens is that they also increase the lifespan of methane in the atmosphere. So, that means to some extent, they are also contributing to warming because of increasing the lifespan of methane. Methane itself is a global, uh, sorry, greenhouse gas, GHG, okay, greenhouse gas. So, it is warming to ho hai. But if we see, this second statement mein hai, decreasing the potential uh, let's, global warming by depleting ozone, this is It is more. And that's why nulling out this effect, rather it is decreasing the warming or help in cooling effect in the Earth's atmosphere. Hai? So, we can say third. That's why answer here is A. Hai? So, I hope that you have understood this. A is the correct answer. Fine. Moving on. Light pollution. Okay. We have actually the light code which talks about how much light exposure should be there, especially in protected areas and where the wildlife light is problematic for them in terms of their health, reproductive system or the hormonal system. In India, light pollution is regulated through Air Pollution Act 1981. Now, this is incorrect. At present, any law is not regulating the light pollution. Although the overall Umbrella Regulation Regulatory Act is Environment Protection Act 1986, but there has been, let's say, no such law specific for light pollution as such. Okay, so our light pollution code hai, but this is not under any statutory act. So, this is incorrect statement. Light pollution causes hormonal imbalances in marine animals. This is true. Especially in coastal areas, that's why uh, the, the marine animals like turtles or other species in coastal ecology, so they are, when they are exposed to such light, especially LED. Okay. So, this is what happens? Light penetration pani mein bahut zyada hota hai and they are exposed to this light, which is harmful for their health. Okay. So, there can be hormonal imbalances. There can be <coughs> unique kind of, let's say, impact on their reproductive system. So, here is very important. That's why many of the port locations along the eastern coast, especially in Odisha, like Dhamra port, what is that the olive ridley turtles ka mass nesting site hai, and that is the Dhamra port, Brahmani river, ke pe develop kiya ja hai. so uh, that's why it is always a concern for, uh, let's say, wildlife there, Theke, marine ecology. This statement is correct. So, one statement is incorrect, one is correct. So, what is D is the correct answer here. D is the correct answer. Okay. Okay. Now, moving on. Yes. Now, unique characteristics of species. I told you we are trying to cover the unique characteristics of species. Which one of the following species has the habit of washing their face and limbs with their urine as a defense mechanism against the sting of the toxic insects which they eat? Pass me UPC defense mechanism pe question pucha tha, rolling, they, they roll themselves like we know that uh, what we can say <coughs> porcupine is there or uh, we know that many animals they as a defense mechanism, what they do? They roll, theek hai, to unke scales hote hai body pe, to the prey, uh, what you can say, they cannot be become the easy prey here, right? So, here also, this particular animal uses their own urine and wash that, wash their face with that urine and limbs to, pr to protect themselves from the sting of toxic insects which they eat. This is slender loris. C is the correct answer. Slender loris. This habitat India or Nepal. Mein hai. Generally, these, these slender loris are found in, we can, they are arboreal species. Okay, arboreal hai, 
और ये स्लेंडर लॉरीज जो है इंडिया और नेपाल में इसका हैबिटेट है और ये ड्राई रीजन्स में ज्यादातर बोल ग्रास लैंड ठीक है सो so, ड्राई हैबिटेट में ज्यादा पाया जाता है ठीक है सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो वी कैन नॉक्चरनल स्पेसिस नॉक्चरनल के ऊपर पूछा जा रहा है ठीक है सो हैबिटेट हैबिट्स ऑफ दिस स्पेसिस ठीक है सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर फाइन वट अबाउट दिस जेली फिश अगेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक बेस्ड क्वेश्चन Right of having no central brain, they can learn from the past experiences like human. This is true. They have developed such kind of system in their body that they can learn from the past experiences similar to human. Now, have single organ for eating and excreting. Yes, that is true. That organ helps them to ingest the food as well as for excreting whatever the excreta is there or unwanted part of that food. and along with that it also helps in movement ठीक है तो ये क्या करते हैं ये mouth के through जो है हवा छोड़ते हैं तो ताकि उसको एक jerk मिलता है movement का jelly fish को ठीक है so same not have scales gills and fins like fish this is true right so some of them have capacity are talking about the characteristics of jelly fish and all of them are correct d is the correct answer so yes there can be question related to of this variety of species next question international initiatives conservation se related protection se related central asian mammals initiative recently seen in news is started by which of the following organizations central asian mammals initiative is by bon convention on migratory species or convention on migratory species which is also called as bon convention this was convention was and came into force in 1983 india is party to this theek hai cop jo hai 15 india mein hua tha gandhi nagar 2020 mein and this particular initiative was launched into cop 13 theek hai cop 13 mein launch kiya gaya tha central asian mammals so migratory mammals of central asia unke protector protection ke liye migratory mammals of central asia c is the correct answer theek hai okay what about this one how many of the above turtle species are herbivore again species based question herbivores pucha hua hai now this is unique why because turtle species are generally omnivores generally omnivores they eat insects as well as they eat uh, we can say <coughs> uh, some of the algae ठीक है तो यहां पर देखेंगे तो इंडियन टेन टर्टल दिस इज द ओनली हर्बी और स्पेसीज अमंग दीज थ्री ब्लैक शेल एंड ये क्या है ओमनीवरस है वेरी स्पेसिफिक इफ यू डू नॉट नो स्किप दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट ने स्किप किया होगा ये जरूर क्वेश्चन राइट right? सो so, इसका आंसर क्या है ओनली वन इज द करेक्ट आंसर बिकॉज ऑफ दीज काइंड ऑफ ऑप्शन इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू एलिमिनेट द थिंग्स एंड दैट्स वाई यू शुड स्किप सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ज्यादा फैक्चुअल जो होता है आपको कुछ भी नहीं पता है तो वो क्वेश्चन मत अटेम करिए निगेटिव जाएगा वट अबाउट दिस ब्रिजटन इनिशिएटिव ब्रिज टाउन इनिशिएटिव पार्डन में ब्रिज टाउन इनिशिएटिव इज इंटरनेशनल इनिशिएटिव इट हैज बीन स्टार्टेड बाय बारबाडोस बारबाडोस इज कंट्री इन कैरेबियन सी ठीक है कैरेबियन कंट्री है और बारबाडोस लेट से स्टार्टेड दिस इनिशियेटिव स्पेशली टू प्रोटेक्ट द वलरेबल कंट्री to cope up with climate change reform and development finance to help vulnerable countries cope with let's say climate change so development finance that is the finance from developing countries to sorry developed countries to developing countries and the vulnerable countries like island nations like the barbados so it is one of the vulnerable country and it can be submerged because of sea level rise climate change so a is the correct answer here bridge bridge town initiative theek hai fine Now, what about this? Buttonwood trees have drawn much attention in recent times in states like Goa. Buttonwood trees. Which one of the following best explains the reason behind it? Why it is in news or why it has got the attention? Yes, the unique aspect. आप देख सकते हैं confusing है. अगर आप नहीं पता है आपको तो ये सारे statements सही लगते हैं. Like Nipah virus was in news. ठीक है. So well suited to grow in acidic and alkaline soil. 
मिनिमल वाटर नीड्स तो ये सस्टेनेबल uh, ग्रोथ के लिए मैनग्रोव स्पेसीज विच इन हाई क्वालिटी हार्डवुड हमें लग सकते गोवा में मैनग्रोव स्पेसीज होगा बट ऑल थ्री आर इन करेक्ट रादर डी इज द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इट्स रूट स्प्रेड वेरी रैपिडली एंड डिस्ट्रॉय द कम्युनिकेशन लाइन्स एंड ड्रेनेज सिस्टम एंड द फ्रेश वाटर सिस्टम ये बहुत ज्यादा डीप रूट्स इमीजिएटली स्प्रेड करता है वेरी फास्ट ग्रोथ ऑफ रूट्स एंड इट डैमेजेस द अंडरग्राउंड स्ट्रक्चर्स मैन मेड स्ट्रक्चर्स लाइक वी हैव द केबल्स कम्युनिकेशन केबल्स आर देयर ड्रेनेज सिस्टम इज देयर इट इज डिस्ट्रॉयड दैट्स वाई इट इज इन न्यूज डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर very specific okay remember breton wood trees now again species based question but it is very easy one we can say nekton species what are nektons there are three types of marine species that we can categorize theek hai so first one we know that <clears throat> they are planktons planktons second nektons एंड थर्ड बेंथोस है ना इन ओशनोग्राफी वी लर्न अबाउट दैट प्लैंगटॉन्स आर लाइक फाइटो प्लैंगटॉन्स टू प्लैंगटॉन्स दे आर ऑटोट्रॉफिक दे कैन मेक देयर ओन फूड राइट बट दे कैनॉट वी कैन से दैट मूव बाय दम सेल्व राधर दे आर सिंपली फ्लोटिंग फ्लोटिंग ऑन ओशन सर्फेस प्लैंगटॉन्स वट अबाउट नेक्टॉन्स नेक्टॉन्स आर द स्विमर्स दे आर द स्विमर्स दैट मीन्स these can swim marine animals those those who can move from one place to other place unko nekton kaha gaya and benthos which live at or on ocean ground surface ocean ground surface theek hai to jo ground pe hote hai niche generally these are benthic animals benthos bola gaya now what about these nekton species squids shrimps श्रिम्स सॉल्ट वाटर प्रोकोडाइल पॉर्पॉइजेस जैसे डॉल्फिन का पॉर्पॉइजेस बोलते हैं हम सील्स ऑल दिस कैन स्विम राइट ऑल दिस कैन स्विम तो वी कैन से दैट ऑल ऑफ दिस ऑल फाइव इज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर जिनको पता है कि नेक्टॉन्स आर द स्विमर्स दे कैन इजीली करेक्ट दिस इजी हो जाएगा उनके लिए तो बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन जब आपको पता होती है तो इस तरीके से अप्लाइड क्वेश्चन ईजी सॉल्व हो जाते हैं ओके सो डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर what about this one <clears throat> very specific but such kind of framing has been there in past like tiger se related unhone pucha hota which of the following animals have similar kind of protection like tiger under wildlife protection act we know that tiger is under schedule 1 highest protection but what about this one wild pigs and nilgai enjoy same level of protection in india this is true but both of these species are listed in schedule 3 of wildlife protection act नहीं शेड्यूल थ्री नहीं है इट इज शेड्यूल टू इट इज शेड्यूल टू प्रोटेक्शन लेवल सेम है बट शेड्यूल टू में है दिस इज इन करेक्ट वन स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट ठीक है तो सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ठीक है सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर फाइन वॉट अबाउट दिस वन क्या है ये एम्फेलो गैथमस सॉरी नैथस कोहेनी ठीक है एम्पेलो Nathus Koheni mentioned in media recently in reference to basically these are the fossils of herbivorous dinosaur. ठीक है तो क्यों न्यूज में था recently in Texas USA in Texas USA the fossils of this new species of herbivorous dinosaur okay newly discovered we can say species newly discovered species uh, newly discovered fossils of that particular species has been there in texas usa so that's why it was in news a is the correct answer theek hai again species based question but it is in news a is the correct answer fine now this is unique again type of behavior menopause is the characteristic feature has been witnessed in how many of the above mentioned species menopause we know that in human विमेन अंडरगोज मेनोपोज राइट तो बाकी स्पेसीज में नेचर में कौन से कौन से स्पेसीज में औरंगटून वी कैन एक्सेप्ट दैट औरंगटून दे आर लेट्स प्राइमेट्स सो दे आर हैविंग चिंपा अगेन वी कैन से प्राइमेट्स देन व्हेल्स मैमल्स में आता है ह्यूमन तो है ही बट डॉल्फिन्स आर नॉट हैविंग मेनोपोज दे कैन गिव बर्थ टू यंग वंस 
throughout their lifetime. Throughout their lifetime. Menopause wala concept nahi hai dolphins mein. Although we can say we know about humans or primates ke baare mein, but whales or dolphins aapko confuse karega. Little bit confusion. But yes, we can take some calculated risk here, but uh, too much factual we can say that. Char state, uh, species sahi hai yaha par C is the correct answer. ठीक है, ओके। What about this one? Critical tiger habitat पे पास में क्वेश्चन आ चुका है, so we are asking specific about that. The term critical tiger habitat is mentioned in Wildlife Protection Act 1972. This is correct. Critical tiger habitat, it is defined, uh, uh, we can say, and mentioned in Wildlife Protection Act 1972, and it is related to core tiger area, core area of we can say tiger reserve. Tiger is a protected area. Hota hai uska. The term critical wildlife habitat is defined in Forest Rights Act. Yes, it is only defined in Forest Rights Act. Wildlife habitat hai, ye tiger habitat nahi. Right. So, we can say that this is correct. A national park or wildlife sanctuary constituting core area of tiger reserve is critical tiger habitat. This is also true. Just now I have told you. The core area. Okay. So, all three statements are correct here. All three statements are correct. That means C is the correct answer. In past, UPC has asked question on which of the following tiger reserve is having largest critical tiger habitat area. ठीक है? तो नागार्जुन सागर उस तरीके से उसका आंसर था। हाँ। eDNA, the term which is in news, eDNA. Sometimes students may think that ये electronics से related something है, eDNA है। No, it is environmental DNA. It is environmental DNA. That is the DNA. all organisms into their surrounding through natural process during their lifetime or after death. This new concept is in use, especially related to gene pool, or we can say that the kind of DNA that is found in particular ecosystem species and their DNA. ठीक है तो genetic diversity से related हम जो रिसर्च होता है उससे रिलेटेड ये टर्म है ई डीएनए एनवायरमेंटल डीएनए ओके सो सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर ऑल राइट सो दीज आर द एनवायरमेंट सेक्शन क्वेश्चंस वी होप दैट यू हैव लेट्स से अंडरस्टूड दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड आल्सो द एक्सप्लेनेशन पार्ट इज अटैच्ड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो एंड दिस इज द रिकॉर्डेड वीडियो एंड अदर फैकल्टीज विल बी टेकिंग द लाइव डिस्कशन सो यू कैन गो थ्रू द अदर वीडियो आल्सो Right. So, if you have any question, ask in the comment box. We will try to reply. If you want to have a dedicated mentoring for prelims examination, you call at Lukman IS and there will be free mentoring for you. ठीक है आपको किसी भी तरीके का preparation का कोई भी question आता है आपको strategy पर जाननी है क्या सही strategy है prelims के लिए. So you can reach out to Lukman IS and we will arrange a mentoring session for you. Fine. Thank you.